right, gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining me. Um, viewers, subscribers, tonight we'll have Eddie from Sports BTM and Formula Sports in the house. All right, we have a few things that we need to discuss. Um, more times you feel like when you are a Jamaican football fan, you take one step forward and two step back. I don't know if you gentlemen agree with that. Um, I for big up coach's desk as well because um, the program they were having last night was legendary. You know what I mean? And I see it as a bold step for fans because that's what we are at the end of the day. Um, we are fans. These are fan channels. You know what I mean? And we're passionate about our team. And that is why we do this. Gentlemen, coming out of the conversation, I'll start with you, Formula. What were, what, 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 what were some of the things that you took out of it? If you can even start with like two or three things that you took out of it. Firstly, I, I had told Coach that this was going to be his biggest show today. We had been <laughs> talking before that. I'm going to tell him, boss, I'm show you now. Yeah. Um, well, I'm happy about the direction, um, the coaching education. Yeah. Right. He, he stressed that in the interview. Yeah. And I am very happy about that because yeah, that is full important. time. Yeah, yeah. Or coaching, the coaching standard in the country definitely yeah. needs to improve. There's no doubt about it, man. Mm -hmm. So that was the, the very first thing I took away from it. Um, secondly, the, the, the stance or the we got a, a, a bit more insight into the selection. Yeah in terms of the selection process of the, the, the national team. I mean, for starters, he made it absolutely clear that <laughs> Theodore Tapawitmore is picking this team. Yeah. Right? So that is the very first thing. And also in the youth teams, I didn't know that there was a quota. Yeah. In terms of a limit of, of, of UK-born players. Yeah, that is. Overseas-born. Yeah, that is something we'll definitely have to touch upon. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Because that... that, that has a significant impact on the program for in sure. my opinion anything for else sure. you, you understand out there also he well the sad the sad part about it is that he didn't get to continue because of technical difficulties mm -hmm. but one of the things also that stood out to me was he was getting more into the running of the federation in terms of the yeah. structure the administrative yeah. structure yeah so he started touching on that a bit so that yeah. was also good as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eddie, what, 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 what were your opinions coming out of the, um, oh, yeah. the interview or a face-to-face -face with, with, with some other fans? Yeah, man, first of all, big up coach. Mm. Tremendous live, um, fun field, full of laughter. Yeah, and always. I, I enjoyed it tremendously. Yeah. Um, takeaways, I like the hard-hitting questions from the panel. Yeah. Um, they weren't afraid of the JFF representative. You yeah. know, they went all out and they asked tough questions which yeah. the fans wanted to, want to hear. So that's a, that was a big plus for me. Um, when again, yes, speed. Yeah. Speed, speed mentioned the fact that there wasn't any agent. Yeah. You know that wasn't was quite surprising, right? Quite alarming yeah. that in 2021 the, the federation didn't have a. A scout, a scout, a scout. Yeah, because yeah, so, that's what. I mean, for cuts, we will have to stress the difference between an agent and a scout. And a scout, right? They both deal with talent, but one um, researches and looks for talent, and and identifies talent. Have a certain level of um, technical ability to judge player, judge a player. Uh, um, an agent works in the interest of his client to broker represents ideas. Represents the talent. Represents to, the talent. Uh, either the talent or the team. So that mm -hmm. is where the major difference lies. And I think it's quite alarming that we do not have scouts in Europe. So, yeah, I take that away. So continue, Eddie. Yeah, man. And the fact that he's sitting waiting on players saying that players can come and knock on the jacket door. I didn't like that because as, as a federation, you need to be proactive. And go out there and scout the players and you know, have a pool of players to work for and go after the players that they want. Um, yeah. I fully expect Tapa to be in a situation where Tapa is like, oh, I need a defensive midfielder. I can go to the JF and say, look, what's, what are my options? You know, yeah. that's, that sort of things. And we do have that presently. And, you know, that's, that's terrible on the JFF's part, pretty much so. 
those are some yeah. of the takeaways that I yeah that, that um interview that definitely stood out to me as well as in the um situation with people approaching is something i said on an earlier podcast still is that i had this suspicion that we weren't recruiting we were using who was available and we would pick from that so if somebody approached us we'd say yes or no not we weren't going out in terms of identifying a position or a player that would say you could definitely add to our strength the team yeah and i feel that last night my suspicions were confirmed yeah yeah so it was a it was a reasonable conclusion though to arrive at you know mm-hmm. over the years when you watch how the, the federation operates you know and you yeah hear when, stuff behind the scenes as well when we've seen um and this is my life will keep it factual when we've seen players like of higher profile publicly um inquire about the program and then nothing comes out of it it, it leads one to wonder you know what I mean? Is, is that we, we are we not interested in this level of player? But then we get to find out about the quota. What I'm gonna understand is the quota in effect now, or is it something for the future? I mean, my oh. my understanding of it, he seems to have been talking about what is the, the current or the present setup. The present setup. Know, of... Yeah, I don't know if Eddie drew a different conclusion. That's well, pretty much it. Um, he, he spoke also about the traveling arrangements and mm-hmm. why they, they cannot be 23 um, players from the Ridiculous. Because That's of the ridiculous. expense that would occur. So, so stuff like that, it, it makes you wonder, you know, why yeah. the JFF in such a financial, you know, state. Yeah, because to be honest with you, there are some things that I can understand, but I don't think um, the way they're going about it is, is the right way. Like we said, sport is a business and it's one of the biggest businesses on the planet in terms of what athletes are paid what sporting clubs make what's the kind of money that flow between sporting institutions you understand it's big business when you're dealing with big name players come big sponsorship like like i was telling um eddie earlier one thing i agree with him is when you move up into that top 20 things change you jump out of umbra you're in adidas or you're in a nike you understand your your matches where you said not being televised then start end up on espn sky sports you start play better opposition your talent gets exposed you sell players but what they're saying they're trying to base it on a local system but we do not have a proper grassroots local system that can win us a competition yeah you understand sure it can work for other countries like a france or germany or brazil because they yeah. have the proper fundamentals you know what i mean yeah. like me and Wade we're having a conversation and say start with even the proper feel exactly. if you don't have a proper feel to learn to dribble or control a ball or pass a ball and you're at a disadvantage yeah big time but you understand this- it's even about muscle memory you know, for local players, you know. Yeah. Right when they are expecting a bounce. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, one little stone point field can change the whole oh, game, you know. Trust but... me, trust yeah, me. It's, it's so like a driving. You... you have to look out for the patterns and never know the patterns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Yeah. They're so not we, we... used to moving the ball at a certain pace. Yeah. So how are we going speed. to improve? our um our infrastructure our technical um programs for help the players to improve our coaching and all of this right if you don't make the program attractive at first you understand let me tell you something in most of africa in those places um clubs outside of africa european clubs have academies and I'm not talking about it coming to summer and them set up an academy. I'm talking full-time academies. You understand me? Sustain development. Yeah. And it's because those countries perform them show up in a World Cup. You understand? They might not be winning it, but they might them they might get through them group. They might do all of that. Then they're That's showing their players. Yeah, their players are showing up in Europe and performing. So they realize that talent is there. You understand? 
the only thing that we have close to that is the, the um new one mount pleasant academy it's the closest we have to, to somebody who come in here and develop players if we are going to look at the federation for developed players it's not going to work they need to understand the role the role is to govern football in a jamaica you understand we need to set it up that the clubs the local clubs and if they can get the foreign clubs to set up academies or attract them those are the people who will deal with development because they Seeking have the resources investment. to put into it you understand investment. Yeah. yes and they will reap the benefit while the country also reap the benefit from the talent you know what i mean because it's a business bro and we need modern thinkers to 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 to, to elevate the level of business will come through our football federation because that's what it is it's a football federation you understand they're not they're not a club they're a national federation a lot, of, a lot of people you know yesterday um thought that i was agreeing mm -hmm. with mr speed's comments mm -hmm. right and it's not that i was agreeing you know right yeah. i just thought that one his comments were being mischaracterized so to speak yeah and also while i don't agree nor am i justifying the comments i understand where he was coming from yeah it's it's a noble yeah. effort to develop the local yeah. players. You know what I mean? It's something that has to be done, but we have to do it the right way. Yeah, exactly. And we have, we have a, a World Cup campaign right now. And the, 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 Ghana the, develop players right now, Primo. Ghana yeah, develop yeah. players right now. Right now, we have to, like the Federation need to realize them have to match the ambition of the fans and the sponsors. It will exactly. be a lot. So <laughs> winning teams don't don't struggle to get sponsors. Yeah. Trust me. You know what I mean? And I think what what most fans are being increasingly frustrated about is that we see the level of talent out there that is eligible to represent the country. Yeah. For an upcoming World Cup cycle that is fast approaching. Yeah. You know? And we know what these players could do for our team. So Yeah. And what's up about yeah, go at ahead. The end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we have to hope that Tapa can realize that we need help, you know, I mean, in certain years. Because if, if Tapa is thinking that he has the quality to qualify, you know, that's just it. So, because if he's picking the team, we have to just work with, with what we put out, put out there pretty much. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's qualification. So if he can get us to Qatar by playing these players, so be it, but you know if him feel a worries. So I think we shouldn't get too overly eager and excited in terms of this whole, whole thing because we should just sit and wait a bit. Yeah, I agree with you. We need to just look into it. Um mm -hmm. take take it's a long way to go. Yeah, take the points out of it. You know what I mean? We're not trying to chop off nobody head, you know what I mean? We just say, yo, if you want to achieve these things. There are certain ways that we, we, in our opinion, think that you can go about it, probably in a better way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely. Um, I see Simon Preston put out a tweet today. Um, like I always say, tweets aren't, not, aren't um, always news, but Simon is our, um, tends to be a reliable journalist. journalist. It seems that we have trouble in the camp again um unpaid match fees and per diems um i, I honestly don't even know what to say for me like edit could this be an issue going into the I world mean, go, on, I mean, Eddie, go on i mean i think it might be um yeah. maybe this is something that was held down by the players considering the previous situations with, 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 with match fees and all of that. Yeah. Um, I think they might be protecting the JFF yeah. somewhat. Because this is not this is nothing new. Yeah. Um, they left Japan what, probably a week ago. Yeah. So and it, and it's just getting out. So I think the, the players didn't want it to get out. 
Yeah, and it's it's still a little bit. They just got home, basically. I yeah. would say. Yeah, it is still, and it's you, still. And you would you would think that the JFF after agreeing, you know, and signing the contract <laughs> with the players, yeah. you know, pull up them socks, and this is the first real test of them to see yeah. what they said yeah. they will actually do. Yeah. And we see them lapsing already. <laughs> um, you think that yeah, Mr. Mar- go ahead. Go on, go on. Yeah, I was saying. Mar- yeah, go on. I was saying that they have signed a contract. <laughs> I would like to think. Mm. that the money that they said in the contract that they're mm. going to be paying. I would like to think they would have guaranteed that source of funding. Mm-hmm. So I d- should this really be an issue going forward? Oh boy, it shouldn't be. It should, should it? <laughs> it? It shouldn't be, but it kind of probably shows you how... Um... Let me say this first. We missed that much that must yeah. affect the finances that is money not being made yeah. and it, it, it's, it's probably yeah it's probably more finances involved in that than the um the under 23 24 match and the serbia match but i think that should be such a big deal in why the players don't get the match fees there. but because they that, would have gotten money for the tour yeah, but that probably tell you say yo, they might run point E. <laughs> if you if you look into it and think about it, if I'm one mismatch here. can slow up the money. I am joking here when I say this, but honestly, they should not be paid for that Japan Olympic. <laughs> <team. laughs> I'm sorry, I am joking, but seriously, I mean they worked, you know, they worked, yeah. but seriously, yeah. <laughs> All right. But what we hear say, so, yo, players have to pay them away and, and take care of their own expenses. It's kind of ridiculous. Mm. It, it's going to affect a man mentally. Yeah. Um, if you hear an um, overseas player say, yo, you know, someone not going to really go through with this, would you be surprised? No. Because no, they're, at a certain, they're in a certain environment abroad where things certain things are taken care of you know they, they yeah. wouldn't come to a, they would think they would come to a federation and, and get this type of treatment yeah you know, certainly. and for the players credit storage you know enough people have said though but it take a lot fair man i go to japan end up in an airport halfway through europe i forgot go back home do tests come back through the airport fly halfway around the world Represent our country and then end up at your ears and the man and pay feet out of them on a pocket. Commitment. Kudos to them. Commitment. Commitment. So, Andre Blake, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> exactly. True, yeah. true. But, but we have heard, you know, we have hmm? heard, you know, from, we have heard from credible sources, you know. Mm. that uk born players have come out here you know and when they experience the, the unprofessional setup mm. them turn back you know and say no no you know not yeah. doing this again you know we have heard from credit we have heard those stories from credible sources it's understandable yeah mm-hmm. like um he's a youth music play football in the states i'm a play one match um down a uh, um, judges when I um, was like some college trial thing. I get selected for Alabama a and but I never go. And the, even with the half scholarship, it was like millions of dollars a year. I'm going to have to pay rent and all kinds of things. But shortly after that, I decided to stop playing football because the experience I have with the um, level of football or the hotel, low point technical ability, high point physicality, um, <laughs> which is important, you know what I mean? But like certain things were like with ingraining in me, like, you know, what we learn is like you play your position, you work for the team. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was because I trials, everybody I try to shine. But bro, I, I swear to God, we were all young youths, but I felt like the man in the surround on the ball all over the field you understand we play scrimmage one time and it felt like a scene out of a movie we used to watch when i was a child named bed knobs and broomsticks <laughs> for some cartoon animal i play football 
Um, basically, <laughs> them are like pummel each other. You know what I mean? But the side said, no, I can't do it. Because I can't be playing football for fun and they might injure me because that happened. You know what I mean? So we have to really look into our football and do something about it. This is not the case everywhere across the island. You understand me? But on a certain level, our football is lacking. And we're not lacking in raw talent. We're lacking on the technical side of the game. For sure. You know For what I mean? Sure. The Monday when we are playing against in a, uh, America, Mexico, Ray, Ray, Ray. They, I can tell you for a fact that I've played against those people as, as a, a youngster coming up. And then what they can do as a team is that they can move the ball from back to front. They not have to dribble and broke and kill 10 man. You understand? They can do that as a team. Them know how to work for each other. That is what we need to learn. That is how we got to the World Cup in '98. Yeah. Yeah, you understand? The team learned how to work for each other. And they learned a system. And they had one formation. And <laughs> come hell or high water, that was the formation that Simo is used. You understand? And they could have chop and change because they had a system. That's why a youth. Come, come straight out of Woolman's High School and go in the system and work. You understand? So yeah, I agree with them that the coaching, <laughs> it has to improve. You understand? And that's the only way we're going to learn. The, the, the players are going to learn these things is through the coaches. Yeah. You know what I mean? And make, and make, you know, and make higher certification more accessible to the general public. Yeah, Let me tell you something, man. Level of raw talent, what do you them have? Yeah, man. It's not normal. A man can stay as and juggle to 200. You know how much professional footballer can juggle? Because it's not really required, you know. All you have to do is be able to control it. You, know? you know what I mean? But it shows a level of skill. You understand? Yeah. Um, we just have to harness that. Yeah, go on. We, but we, we see the level of ta- I mean, look at look at our progress in, in track and field. Yeah. Right? The, the athleticism and the speed is there. Yeah. We just need the technical ability and the technical know-how. Yeah. That's it. We're one of the top nations in track and field in the entire world. Exactly. So why we can't be one of the top nations in football in the, in the entire world? Um, you see... There's a, a big psychological aspect that goes with um, forming a team that's kind of different than doing an individual sport. You know what I mean? You have a, um, a coach, a football coach, have to be a great motivator, bro. a peacemaker. You have to be a father, or she has to be a father, a mother. Multiple roles. You understand? Um. And the psychology where you have to like program into your players, so no, say, yo, man, I will give my all for this coach, this team. And you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a different, it's a different thing. That's why you see coach, some coaches, anywhere them go, them find success. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So there's definitely, they're onto something with the coaching thing, but I don't think they have a realistic timeline. What say you? Mm. That's interesting. I didn't look yeah. at it from that perspective. If you, you, you really ch- why are why you say the timeline is unrealistic, pretty much. We're going into a World Cup campaign now. You understand? You have an opportunity to shine some light on your program now. Do everything possible to get the best outcome now. Sure, I understand the future is important. But the future of a play background till um after the qualifications, you know what I mean? And we can't why, why we can't multitask? Why it have to be one way? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why why we can't be um recruiting for the next Olympics? Why we're not looking at um a set of like 17, 18, 19 year olds for the next Olympics? There's no reason why we shouldn't be in the next Olympics. 
and having them they prepare for the first task they should be preparing for is the under 20 world cup you know what i mean i don't think they think that far i agree yeah but <laughs> yeah talk about development that isn't that a part of it this is yeah, it. Am I angry? Am I coming across angry? Every time no, anything no. on the show, I'm angry. You know? <laughs> no, I think you're yeah, being reasonable. I, think uh, you're being reasonable. I just don't want to make it look harsh because, like I say, I'm a big fan of our football. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But we'll have to, we'll have, if we're going to improve it, we can't just talk out on one side. Yeah. Um, yeah. The thing is, you see, when the players go out there and them don't do what they're supposed to do, there's no, no nothing out there to protect them from rats. You know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But now I'm going to make sure a man of a position or, or, or these people are position of authority over football and I'm going to hold my mouth. So you know, true. Disrespectful, but I'm going to speak the truth. Yeah. And I'm saying, bros. We still have more answers, do you know? And mm-hmm. from what I understand, coach. Is, it is looking as if we will we will see more of it. In terms it of will be continuing. Yeah. yeah. So he, he will be returning. It, it it is looking like that. I'm not I'm not saying that that is indeed taking place, mm-hmm. but it is, it appears as if right you now see, it appears as if. Yeah. And to yeah, be fair, right. even, go on. I'm not hearing any. No, it's, I was just saying he got a charger. <laughs> he got a charger. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. thank, thank God for that. Well, to be fair, you know, the administration hasn't been really um, upfront and open with us, so I have to give him his credit for coming to face the fans like that. He's you know the bravest one out of the JFF. Yeah, to be and fair to him, him yeah. always doing the, the rounds. Yeah, and yeah. kudos to him for that. Um, big man thing. Yeah, a man talking mine and him say what him have to say. When I have to like it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And that yeah. other thing. We're free for disagree. Him, him, him normally take off him JFF hat. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing related him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I might not yeah. like the things the things where him come for tell me, but I appreciate the fact that him show up. You and we, I mean? we we need more transparency with the Jamaican. Yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, and with all due respect we can agree to disagree. But we have to keep the communication lines open. Yeah. That is how I am feeling about that. So yeah, gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining us. For joining me, I should say. It usually is it is me and wait, but it was an emergency, so I had to gather the bosses and have a conversation. So <laughs> thank no you, man, gentlemen. No problem anytime, man. man. No problem, man. All right, yeah. Thanks and for um, us. Yeah, and guys, remember, subscribe to Sports Down the Middle and the Formula Sports. And you're definitely going to see us doing more stuff together. All right? Thanks for watching.